Our next form of geometric transformation we're going to be looking at is dilations. Dilations, just as it sounds, is the enlargement or restriction of a shape. Like you know, the pupil of your eye will dilate to allow in more light or less. So looking at some terms in notation, let's start out just with dilation itself. And dilation is the changing of the size of an object from the perspective of a given point at a specified size. And if the point that we're given for the dilation is one of the points of the figure, then that one doesn't move. If anything else happens, or if it's any other point, like in the diagram below, our pre-image of PRQ dilated from point C gives us the image of P prime R prime Q prime, we have a series of congruent line segments. So CP is congruent to P P prime. CR is congruent to R R prime. And CQ is congruent to Q Q prime. So it sets up a midway point from the point of dilation to our image using the pre-image as the middle. So the point that we choose to do our dilation from is the center of dilation. And now the size that we choose to enlarge or reduce the size our original object for is called the scale factor. So how do we go about notating a dilation? Well, we need some variables in order to do this. For dilation, we use a capital letter D. Our center of dilation, I'm going to call point C, and the ratio, I'm going to call N. So if I wanted to dilate a factor, for instance, the diagram shown below, we have an enlargement of 2. I would say dilation of 2 from point C of triangle PRQ. And that tells us to find location C and from it double the size of everything giving us this. Now as we do go through here N is the ratio of C to R prime over the distance from C to R. So we're able to work this out. Now we have a couple of figures being able to go through and calculate this difference will come and will give us a little bit of practice. So for the first one, N, it's always your image divided by your pre-image. So our image is the inner shape which has a lower side length of 2 and our pre-image is the outer shape which has a side length of 8 that means our scale factor here is one quarter. Now the lower figure, our pre, uh, sorry, our image is this outer one of four, and our pre-image is the inner shape of two, and four divided by two is simply two. So if your n is larger than one, you're going to see an enlargement. If it's between 0 and 1, you will see a reduction in size. And those are our choices. We can never have a value less than 1, or sorry, less than 0, and a dilation factor of 1 would retain its size, so that is not used either. Let's take a look at how this would appear as we started working with different parts of it. So we have an image of JKLM. It is a quadrilateral with, sorry, we have a pre-image of JKLM, that is a quadrilateral, and the image of J prime, K prime, L prime, and M prime also on the same grid. Question is, does the diagram represent enlargement or reduction? And what is the scale factor of this dilation? So the first question, does it represent enlargement or reduction? As we go from our pre-image, drawn in black, to our image, drawn in blue, did the size get larger or smaller? And since our image is inside, 
we can safely say that this is a reduction. So next, what is that scale factor? And we need to come out with a value, because this is a reduction, that n has to be between 0 and 1. So how would we be able to calculate that out? One way is to start looking at differences in lengths. For instance, from the origin to j is 1, from the origin to j prime, for, sorry, from the origin to j prime is 1, origin to j is 2. From the origin to k prime is 3, the origin to k is 6. In each of these, we're seeing a constant ratio. So our n value, the scale factor, is going to be equal to our image. We'll take origin to k prime divided by our preimage. Origin to k is 6. And then we reduce our ratio. So 3 to 6 is actually 1 half. The inner image is 1 half the size of the outer. So when we, once we have this figured out and know whether or not we're enlarging or reducing our size, how can we go about drawing an image set ourselves? So we're going to perform a dilation of 2 on triangle PZG and list the coordinates of the vertices of the image. When we're given a dilation written in this manner with simply the scale factor and we're on a grid, it's assumed that our center of dilation is going to be the origin. Now what that means, if we go through and we have a dilation of n on a given point x, y, then we're simply going to multiply each coordinate by that factor. So we'll have nx, ny. So let's begin by listing the vertices. The vertex z is located at negative 2, 1. g is located at 0, negative 2. And p was located at 2, negative 1. And if we're having a scaling factor of 2, what we're going to do is map these out to their enlargement. So p prime will be 2 times the coordinates for p. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. For z into z prime, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And 2 times 1 is 2. Lastly, g, going out to g prime, 0 times 2 is 0, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So what we have is the image at these coordinates. So now as we go through and plot them, p prime, z prime, and as best as we can estimate, g prime. And then we simply connect the sides in order to make our image of this dilation. So we can enlarge or we can reduce in size based on whether our, what our scale factor is and going through these multiplications of values. So take notes on the notation and methods used here and be ready to use them as we look at more geometric figures.